It's five o'clock on the Wednesday and it's time for Craig and Ryan's Magic TV Show. I'm Craig. I'm Ryland. Welcome back to another review show right here on Magic TV where me and Ryland look at the latest and greatest tricks that have been brought out to the Magic community. We've got some really good tricks this week including one that Ryland thinks is one of the best tricks he's ever seen. However, we also have some terrible tricks as well, or at least one particular trick that is not good. But we're going to start off with a really cool trick uh, that's recently been released, taking the magic world by storm. So let's have a look at that one first. So first up this week, we have uh, Victor Sands presents Glare. Um, and he's the guy that uh, co-created the trick from last week. Candy Morph! Candy Morph, that you really liked. So Glare is, uh, basically, Glare is a card revelation it's a one gimmick card that you put it's into not your card deck revelation. it's a three card revelation it's a three card revelation you put this card into your deck and you can do a three card revelation relatively easily before i say any more we're going to do a performance of it i'll perform it to camera so you can see exactly what it looks like and then we'll talk about what we think okay Ryan. so i'm going to show you something with a pack of cards okay. sound good yeah you happy yeah okay so we're going to have three cards picked okay. um so as i go through just say stop stop that is card number one, okay. and say stop. Stop. That is card number two, and one more time, say stop. Stop. That one there is card number three. Have a look at the three cards for me, mate. Uh, don't want to see them, but have a look at them. Got you got them? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to take these three cards, and one at a time, I'm going to put them back into the pack in different places. One, two, three. Is that fair? Yeah, that's fair. Leave it down in the middle of the deck, give the cards a few cuts just to make sure that they are lost right yeah. now i'm going to try and do something here i'm going to take one card and i'm going to try and turn that card into all three of the cards that you all picked three. all yeah, three possible? i'm just going to put my torch on first of all i want you to watch okay. because this is kind of really weird i want you to uh to, to look at this do you see if i put the card over this torch can you see what you actually see on the other side is you can see a four, a four of spades. Look, there's a spade there, there's a spade there, there's a spade there, there's a spade there's there. There's no other spades, there's only four. Does that mean that your card was the four? Did you pick a four of spades? Yes, I did. Well, let's see if we can try That's this again. Good. Look, if I give a little shake, do you know what happens? What? Well, now... Oh, my God. You see six spades. What the hell? Now, now you see six spades. That tells me your cards what? are six of spades. Is that right? Yeah, what the But watch, hell? if I do one more time, do you know what happens now? What? Well, the card actually turns into the three oh my God. of diamonds. <laughs> was that your card? Yeah, that's cool, man. Amazing. Yeah. Okay, so that is Glare by Victor Sands. This is a really cool trick. Yeah. Like, this is a really cool trick. Uh, anybody who's been in Magic for 0 0.2 seconds will know this is a variation on the Hofsinger card. Um, but what uh, Victor has added to this is he's added the ability of... You know, you, you switch the light on and you see the uh, you see the silhouette of the card through through the uh, through the back of the card, which is the Hofsinger card. So the Hofsinger card is that yeah. it's a different card. And they say when you shine a light or a candle or a phone light or something, it looks totally different from the back as it does from the front. Yeah. But what they've added there is kind of a secret mechanism inside the card that will allow the shadow of the card to change from a four of spades into a six of spades. Yeah. So the basic idea here is you force a four of spades, a six of spades, and a three of diamonds. Yeah. You have three people pick cards, you have them lost into the deck, and then you say, look, I'm gonna make this card change into all three cards, and that's what you do. It changes yeah. first into the four, then into the six, then into the three. Um, and that's it, I mean, it's very easy to do. The tutorial is very in-depth. Victor goes through things with a fine tooth comb. Um, it's not difficult, is it? No. Nope. It's actually a really easy trick to do. Uh, you have to get used to the kind of the, the mechanism in the card that allows you to uh, uh, change it. And there's lots of different yeah, ways. Yeah, I had of... to get used to that. It took me a while. It took you a while, didn't it? There's lots of different changes with the card. So you can do a shape change. You can do a cover change. You can do... There's like five or six different ways of changing those cards. And Victor goes through a really nice way of actually ending clean. Because the one thing I've thought about this is it's not going to be examinable. But uh, Victor talks about how you can actually clean up the trick as soon as the trick's finished. So as soon as you reveal the three of diamonds, you take the phone and you put it away and, and you've cleaned up. And now if they look at that three of diamonds, it's a normal three of diamonds. Yeah, and it's really clever how you can... Very clever that. how they do the, yeah. the switch at the end. So he goes through a self-working switch that allows you to switch the, uh, the gimmick three of diamonds for a regular three of diamonds at the end of the routine. Yeah. Um, 
Lighting conditions are going to be uh, a factor here, as they are with every Hofsinger uh, uh, card uh, plot. And what I mean by that is if you're performing in a festival outside and it's a really sunny day, it's going to be very difficult to do this trick because you need it a little bit darker so the light shines the card up when you actually hold the light underneath. Yeah. If it's really bright, they might not be able to see anything. But a typical corporate event or inside or a wedding or a restaurant or anything, you'd be absolutely fine. You'd be absolutely yeah. fine. You'd have no problems at all. I do like the, the trouble that they've gone to with this. So the packaging, this is the gimmick card. And, and they've got this lovely little case here that keeps the card nice and safe. And I wish more companies would give you something like this. You know, you buy a really expensive card that can cost an absolute fortune. And it can be really, really expensive, these cards. And you can easily wreck them, can't you, if you're not careful. Yeah. But what they have here, uh, which way around is it? That way around. What they have here is a, a little case thing that keeps it really safe. Yeah. So you can throw it into your close-up case and when you need it, you just put it into the deck and you're ready to go. Uh, yeah, I mean, is there anything else to add about this? You really like this, don't you? Yeah. You'd never seen the Hofsinger card plot before, so when you saw the shadow going through the card and changing it, you had no idea initially, did you, that that, that was a thing, that that was no. able to be done. No, yeah, I mean, cool. if you've never seen a Hofsinger card before, there's a lot of different versions out there. This is one of the best. It's very well made. The card is very well made. As long as you look after it and keep it inside this little container, yeah. it'll last a lifetime, or maybe not a lifetime, but it'll last a very long time. Uh, it's easy to do. Uh, it's examinable at the end if you follow Victor's uh, advice. But to be honest, I don't think people are going to want to examine the card anyway. But even if they do, you've got the way of actually uh, switching in a regular card at the end. The only thing to take into consideration is it's going to be the same thing every time. So if you're doing seven or eight tables and they all know each other you might want you might not want to do this more than once because everybody will see that it's the same revelation every single time um that's the only real negative that you need to consider but other than that it's good isn't it yeah it's really, it's good. really good it's really good um i'm gonna i'm gonna give this i don't know i'm gonna give this 95 percent. i think this is really awesome what about you 96 96 percent. 96% yeah. 96% from Ryan, 95% from me. If you're looking for a nice, cool card revelation, yeah. then pick it up. I mean, it's, it's like yeah. uh, Di Vernon said. Um, you know, if you've got one card revelation and 100 forces, then you've got one card trick. But if you've got 100 revelations and one force, you've got 100 tricks. Well, this is a way of doing a really cool three-card revelation, which when you're working in the real world, you know, getting three people involved in the trick is a really important thing. I definitely think we should do this on the review show, Revisit It. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, 96% from him, 95% from me. Let's move on to the next trick. So the next trick we're going to be talking about is uh, the Milk in Light Bulb by TCC. Now, Milk in Light Bulb is a classic trick. It's been around for years and years and years and years. And many, many years ago, people did it in their shows all of the time. It's kind of fallen out of favour recently. Not many people do it. Uh, but it is an absolutely incredible trick. The whole idea is that you take some milk, you make it disappear, and it appears in the light bulb. That's basically the trick. Now, TCC have TCC'd it. Uh, and what I mean by that is they've taken this classic trick and they've re-engineered it. Uh, you get a lovely flight case, don't you? Like, yeah. you get a proper flight case to keep this in it comes in a really nice flight case you get the lamp which is just there which is just over there you get the lamp you get the light lampshade for the lamp yeah you yeah. get the glass in order to make the milk vanish you yeah. get the light bulb you even get a little container yeah. to put the light bulb in and you get the secret something that allows the electronics in the lamp to work you get absolutely yeah. everything now ryland has fallen in love with this trick haven't you and I might have already put it in my stage show. He's already put it and in the stage show. I might have already show. done a performance. You might have already done a performance of it, yeah. Uh, you love this. Now, Ryland's going to do a performance of this as he spent it. He spent, how long have you spent rehearsing this now? Ages. Absolutely ages. Now, if in, he's kind, he might even put a live performance on. Would you like me to put a live performance on? Yeah. Okay, not in here, but why don't we do a review show, revisit it, and I'll. Yeah, yeah, but we, we do, we do, we're doing another stage show, so you can film it. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll film so it. So you can film it and put it in. Okay, I will do. I will do. I will do. I'll, I'll put it in for you. I'll put it in. I'll put it in. I'll put it in. Put it in. Um, but yeah, okay. So Ryan's going to do a performance of it now. Uh, when you do it at your show, you've got music over the top, haven't you? Yeah. Because there's moments... That Ryan scripted this whole thing himself. And um, uh, I really love the script, by the way. 
Thank you. I really love the script, but there's moments where there's like lots of silence, uh, like where you're milking, making the milk disappear, really, yeah. and the music that you've got over the top really hits those beats lovely. But uh, yeah. we're not going to put the music on on this because we're just doing a studio but performance. But it will be on in the live performance. Yeah, I'll do a review show revisited yeah. and I'll put the live performance yeah. in there. But let's get right into do a performance of Milk and Light Bulb. Are you still doing these review show revisited? Yeah, I haven't got one going up today. Every Friday. Not every Friday. I don't have time to do them every Friday. Uh, uh, it involves it? you and me going and getting loads of footage of tricks. What is it? What is it? Huh? What is it? What day is it? Friday. Every, every, not every Friday. Not every Friday. Just as and when I get time mm. to do it. Anyway, can we, can we get on with it, like please? Every... <laughs> it's like once a month at the moment. <laughs> Look, I'm going I'm to play the performance. Shut up. I'm going to play the performance. Let me tell you a reason why I love magic. You see, it allows me to make the impossible possible would you become a magician with a little thought absolutely anything is possible i'm always creating new tricks and when i have a new idea it's like a light bulb going off in my head let me show you an example this is a lamp it's actually the lamp that i keep by my bed at night i brought it here to show you an idea that i had for a trick when i was going to bed last week like i said getting an idea for a trick is like a light bulb shining brightly this is the light bulb for the lamp. I'm going to put it back in there, but can everybody watch it carefully? My favourite type of magic is when something vanishes from one place and immediately appears somewhere else. Let me show you what I mean. This is a yellow ball. I'm going to put it in this hand. Now don't blink because it actually is gone and jumped over to this hand. Now that's a great trick. But let's, be on, but let's be honest, you and I both know that it's just sleight of hand and the hand moves faster than the eye. Imagine if we could do that same trick, but it's something that I couldn't hide secretly in my hand. Imagine if you could actually see the moment that the ball jumped from here over to here. Wouldn't that be good? Wouldn't that be amazing? Or would that be awesome? You see, when I go to bed at night, my mum always gives me a glass of milk. Last week when I was drinking my milk, I had a really great idea. It went like this. And that is a glass of milk and also why I love magic. Okay, so phenomenal performance, Ryan. Thank you. Really good. Uh, and that is that is milk, milk and light bulb. Now, uh, as you're the one that spent hours and hours and days and weeks rehearsing this, let me ask you a question. Is it easy to do? Mm. Sort of. Sort of. There's not really any sleight of hand to no, it. No, no sleight of hand. There's no sleight of hand to it at all. It's all... Um, you might need to... Uh, you can get a friend to use the extra special thing, or you can do it yourself. But if you do it yourself, you need it in your pocket, or you need it on the table. Uh, on the it's clean as you get an assistant table, to yeah. do it, isn't it? Yeah, I got, I got you to do it. You did. Um, it's clean It's clean to get an assistant yeah. to do it, uh, for that moment where the light goes off when the milk vanishes. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it won't be able to go off because if you if you do it, if you actually press the button on the side of the light, uh, people will it, see you. Then it won't be able to go off. Yeah, it won't go off. But in terms of the 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 actual trick, I mean, I, it's it's not easy in terms of there was a lot of scripting really that you had to. It was more. Would you agree that you spent more time practicing the choreography and the scripting than it was the actual moves of the trick? The moves of the trick, the actual moves. Aren't that difficult, are they? No. 
No, no they're actually relatively easy to do. Yeah. And I gotta say, I love that moment where the milk just starts vanishing Yay. from the, and then you, and the light that. goes off and you just. That's probably one of my favourite moments. Yeah, like you just see it going down and it's like, and when that music that you've picked goes playing over it and you just see the thing go down and then Yeah, boom. I turn the click perfectly. I go, I, as soon as it like, it like, it like changes like, you know, you know when it's going like bum, 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 and yeah. then it slows down. And so I can lower a bit like, duh, duh, duh. Yeah. And like at that, at that moment where it changes, just exactly go. Boom, and then that's at that the, exact moment, yeah. and then it starts going down. Yeah, it's really. And good. then for some reason, by the time it goes down, it's it's exactly where it hits star. The music starts going up again. Yeah, and then you've got that really nice music at the crescendo, and I love that moment where you pour the milk out into the glass, uh, out of the light bulb into the glass, and that's why I love magic. It's great. It's great. And that, it's a glass of milk, and also why I love magic. Love it. Absolutely love it. Love that performance. Love the trick. You don't see milk and light bulb around these days that much. And it's such a shame. It's a great trick. It would work. It's not a close-up trick. No. By any stretch of the imagination. <laughs> <laughs> you know, going to a close-up gig. Excuse me, can I just put my lamp down here on the table? Or I'm just going to put my glass over there. It's not a... Uh, 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 in fact, it's, you really need a little table to um, put the lamp on. Excuse me, so. can I... Uh, you clear all this stuff off the table so I can just put my lamp... Uh, my big box, my glass. <laughs> now we can get with the trick. Okay, so um... <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not a close-up trick. But for stage, for parlor, for cabaret, yeah. kids shows. I think kids would love yeah, this. Yeah, kids, kids show. I mean, all kids of the stuff you do in your stage show is all stuff about kids, like drinking a glass of milk at, at night. Kids yeah. would relate to milk disappearing. Yeah. Disappearing. Yeah, well, that's what you do, don't you? Make the milk disappear. Yeah, the, the, the kids would relate to drinking milk. Yeah. Yeah, drinking milk, yeah. Not making it disappear, I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, how, 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 how could this oh, It's not cheap. It's like a couple of hundred bucks, I think. But, it, I mean... It's what it's worth. It is worth it, isn't yeah. it? I mean, when you realise everything that you get with it, and the flight case... You get everything you need. Yeah. Except uh, your system. And the flight and, you. and me, <laughs> they're not going to get me with it. But the flight case is really nice as well. It just keeps everything really well. Unless they get you and package you to your own house, and then it includes you. Yeah, no, it's never going to include me. <laughs> <laughs> so, what would you give it? Um, um, uh, well, you put it in your show. When there's a million other tricks you can put in your show. Um, Hurry up. A thousand percent. Wow, a thousand percent. I really like it. I think more people should do milk and light bulb. I think it's a beautiful Give routine. It at least 100. I'm giving it a hundred percent. I Yay. think it's amazing. I think for any stage performer that wants a really nice, elegant yeah. piece of magic in their show, they should definitely go with this. Hundred yeah. percent from me, thousand percent from Ryland, it's really good. Now let's move on with the next trick. So next up, we have Clap a Card by Sunny Boom, Sunny Boom Magic Lab. Sunny uh, Boom. Magic. And uh, this is uh, uh, a very interesting gaffed card. And what it allows you to do is apparently make is, the middle... Is that picture there. Yeah, apparently it allows you to make the middle of a card vanish in a very interesting way. Now, uh, I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to do a performance of it, first of all. Then after the performance, we'll talk about what we think. So, Ryan, I'm going to show you the most amazing illusion ever. Are you ready? It's the most amazing illusion ever. It's the most amazing illusion ever, right? Is it? It really is. Is it? It really is. And it uses a deck of... It uses a playing card. This is a, a Queen of Diamonds. You see the Queen of Diamonds, yeah? Yeah. Uh, I want you to watch, because I'm going to take the Queen, and I'm going to hold it like this, right? Basically, what I'm doing is I'm covering up the middle of the Queen. You see this, yeah? Yeah. Now, watch. All I have to do is blow. And when I do the middle of the Queen actually vanishes it's like a little stage illusion but right here close up now it is only an illusion and the reason i know it's only an illusion is because if i open my hands again the middle of the queen's back it was all an illusion none of it was real and that is a miracle with a queen of diamonds so that's clap a card um i i just i gotta be honest i don't like this what do you think I don't like it either. there's a few reasons i don't like this and, and the first reason is one, I, I know I have to keep going on about this, and, and uh, you know what, it's, it's so frustrating. There's no tutorial, uh, sorry, there is a tutorial, there's no live performance. There really should be a live performance when you're doing this sort of thing. There really should be a live performance. There's no, I want to see this 
performed because I want to see the reactions. Yeah, 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 you could, but I just don't think I'm gonna do this. I don't think I'll be able I'm to pull not, it off. Don't make me do it. Don't make yeah. me do it. Like the, the problem is when you see that. First of all, the card is has to be prepped. There's two types of flaps in here. It's not just one flap. It's two types of flaps, and the two types of flaps work together to create this super gimmicked card. But it has to be set in position and. You, you kind of have to do that before the thing, so you can't put it into a deck, because once you've set it up into position, it's bigger than a card. So you really have to have it set and put into your own pocket, right? So uh, I suppose then you could take it out, but it doesn't give you any reason to do anything like that. And also, you wouldn't want it set too long before the performance, because then it might affect the card negatively. But then when you bring it out, it looks obvious. I mean, there's so much going on with this card. There's so many little things going on that if you look at it, you, you can tell there's something up with that card. And you can't hand it out for examination. You can't let anyone even anywhere near it. This thing is gaffed to the hilt. And then you, you, you take it and you make the middle disappear. And it looks okay-ish. It looks all right. You know, the middle vanishes. It looks nice. And then it immediately comes back. But then you can't hand it out for examination. I mean, you, you can't. And, and this is the sort of card that people will want to examine. You've just made a middle vanish out of the card. Now, use Glitch card, for example. You could argue that Glitch is the sort of card that people would want to examine. I don't think it is. I think it's a different context. But maybe even if you do think that the Glitch card is something you want to examine, they've included a way to have it switched out immediately. Um, the heat is on this card at the end. And there's not really a way to switch it out in a very clean way at all. So what you're left with is, is like really a standalone trick. This is probably best for social media. But to be honest, if you're going to do it on social media, there's, there's lots of other ways that you could achieve this that would look just as good, really, to be honest. Um, I just think it's, it's, it's not needed. I just think it's trying to be too clever. It's too clever for its own good. Um, and I think it's overly convoluted. And it just doesn't look very good. And I, I don't know if it, you picked that up on camera. I don't know if you could tell on camera. But you're sitting right next to me when I was practicing it. You can just tell what's going on, yeah, can't yeah. you? You can, just, yeah. you can just tell. I mean, what do you think of it? You tell me. Um, I don't like it. At all. At all. It, it just doesn't look very good, does it? it minus does... a thousand. Minus a thousand. Oh, you're going straight in there with minus a thousand percent. Yeah, this is like, you're a... You're an internet guy. You do Instagram videos like every single day. I'm not you... just internet. I just... I'm at House of Secrets next week for eight days. I know you are. What I mean is you've got a big social media following. Yeah. You've got like almost 10,000 followers on Facebook, yeah. on, uh, on Instagram, right? right? Yeah. So you put videos up every single day on Instagram. That's this better is, what I do. This is the perfect Instagram video, but you've told me you wouldn't, put, you wouldn't do this on Instagram. No. Why? I just won't. You you just won't, okay, fair enough. I you just wouldn't. Yeah, I mean, I I just don't. I'm not. I'm not a fan. I just don't think it looks very good. I think it's very. It's very difficult to use as well. You know, there's bits sticking out, and you have to have your hand in just the right place, and it's it's overly convoluted to achieve a relatively simple effect that doesn't even. Be, you know, at the end of the day, it's a throwaway thing in a shot. Even if it was super commercial. At the end of the day, you're just making the middle of a card vanish and then you're bringing it back. It's a one second thing. Uh, it's, it's never going to really impact a big show or even a card set. Uh, he's given it minus. Mi he's given it minus a thousand percent. I'm giving it ten percent. You might want to play around with it if you like playing around with gaff cards. Then maybe this is something that you might be interested in. But in all honesty, I'd save you money. It's it's just it's just not very good. So ten percent from me. Minus a thousand percent from him. Okay, so the final review that we have today is Ticking Tack by one of your favourite magicians, Tack. Gustavo yeah. Raleigh. Yeah. And this reminds me a little bit of his Kinder Egg trick. Yeah. Where you took the bill and you did this and you turned it into a Kinder Egg. Yeah. It reminds me a little bit of that. Yeah. Um, basically, what happens is you have, well, you know what? We'll tell you what happens in a minute. Let's do a yeah. performance of it. Yeah. Uh, so Raleigh's going to do a performance of it and then we'll talk about what we think. Okay, so. You're probably wondering why I've got a watch. I am wondering why you've got a watch on. It's not your normal watch. It's not my normal watch. And it's because this is actually a new watch that I got for you. 
I've just bought a new Apple Watch, a new iWatch. I don't need, I don't need a watch. It's very nice uh, of you, very nice of you, but I don't, I don't need don't a watch. Need a new watch. No, I don't need a new um, watch. Um, well, if you don't need a new watch, do you need some new Tic Tacs? Do you mean Tic Tacs? Do you need some new Tic Tacs? Are you saying my breath's bad or something? I need some new Tic <laughs> so that's ticking tap now you he put actually this... did get an apple watch he did i did yes <laughs> now this is so you put this on your instagram uh, yeah, about a I week did. ago mad views i think it's on about ten thousand after a day yeah we're at the park yeah right and this um i mean this is uh yeah although you did it on instagram this is something that would work in the real world yeah this is something that works in yeah. the real world uh, and your hands are small. We'll worry you wouldn't be able to do this yeah, because you're having to palm. Yeah, because you have to palm that TikTok box. And then, uh, but luckily, when we were like, talking about, oh, it's too big, this big voice came on the stream and said, the horizontal version. <laughs> yeah, a good start. But yeah, yeah, yeah. And so you can, you can so the way of, so they, so they like, basically the had a... Did you hear that? And he's like, yeah. And the horizontal version, and we looked at it, and can, I can barely palm it. I can barely palm the tic tac box, but. You can. I can. Yeah. So, uh, and if he can do it, anybody can do it, because he's got tiny little hands, right? Um, uh, no, but anyone. Anyone. So get a newborn baby. Okay, maybe not a newborn baby. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the whole idea is but that you have. The, even big enough to you have the watch on your wrist, right? And you take the watch off and you turn it into a tic tac thing. I don't think you'd want to walk around in a gig with that watch on. It no. looks a bit cheap. It looks a bit cheap. I want your Apple Watch. I bet you do. But what you could do is you could have the watch. You could have the watch in your pocket or something and take it out and say, "Hey, I got this watch for my friend. What do you think of it?" And then you can turn it into a tic tac uh, box or something like oh, that. You think, and make... you think they won't work it? Okay. Yeah. Do, actually, do you think they'd like tic tac? Yeah, and turn it into some Tic Tacs. I think that would be quite cool. Um, uh, it's very visual, which is good. Um, the angles aren't that bad. As long as you can palm the Tic Tac box, the angles aren't that bad. The gimmick does most of the work for you, doesn't it? I mean, as long as you can do that with your thumb, the gimmick pretty much does everything for you. It vanishes. Yeah, if, you can in... do, if you can do that, if you can just, if you can just do that, it works. You can do the trick. It, yeah, if you can exactly. do that and then, like... And like move, like like move a little like circle over here, and then like open a lid, and then. And the nice like, thing is, even though it's a gimmick tic tac box, there's regular tic tacs in there, so you can tip the yeah, tic tacs out. Yeah, you can get like four tic tacs in there. Yeah, so you can tip the tic tacs out. I think it's a real tic tac box. Um, you can switch it afterwards for a tic tac box relatively yeah. easily. Gustavo actually also talks about how you can use a real tic tac box with that. Yeah, you so, can. You can. Yeah. And then and then you can tick the. And you say you can look at this tic tac box as long as you know how. As long as you can palm the watch, then you can. And you don't even need to palm the watch because the watch ends up going on your thumb, so it's just like it drops down to your side. Oh yeah, you can just throw the tic tac. And, and you get you get the real box. You do the thing. It's on your thumb. You get the tic tacs. Throw it at them. <laughs> and let them keep it. Get yeah, like twenty thousand tic tac boxes in the cabaret case, and then say, "Here you go." And then walk off. Okay, why not? <laughs> um, they also talk about other things that you can do with this as well, like turning it into money, turning it into playing cards, turning it into silks. There's a lot of different variations on the tutorial of what you can do with this with this gimmick. But yeah. it's a it's a really cool gimmick. I mean, you saw the performance. If you want to take a watch, I mean, as I say, the only thing to consider this watch is a obviously i don't want to say it's a fake no it is it's a fake looking watch i think you'd play this for laughs i think the best way to do this is to play this for laughs um i could see this working really well in a kid's show because one thing i found from experience with my own children i don't know if i'll do it though kids love tic tacs i don't know if i'll do it you, you might not do it I don't we've know. done it on i Instagram. don't know I don't know. Well, you, it's up to you. You know, you know the material. I think it worked really well in a kids show. You know, you take the uh, just you, for my kids show. You do it in your kids show. Just for my kids show. But not in your stage show. No. Not in your close up. No, I must definitely not in my stage show. No. And not in your kids show. Uh, not in your close up. Definitely in my kids show. You not, do it. Not close up. You do it in your kids show. Okay. I um I I like it. I I like it. I I think I do it in a family show I think maybe it's not one of those tricks where I look at it and I go oh my god you know like sometimes you get tricks that come in for review Gustavo has actually sent tricks for review before where you just look at it and you go oh my god that's the best trick ever 
Yeah. That's amazing. I want to start doing that immediately. I don't get that feeling with this. No. I look at it and I go, yeah, that's clever. That's really cool. That's cool. I might try that out. But it's not anything that I'm super mega excited about. It's just, it's yeah. just a cool trick. So I'm going to give it 82% because I am potentially going to try it. Not in close-up, not in my stage show. Like him, I might try it at my kids' show and see how it goes. I think I can play quite well and script it, so it'd be quite funny. Um, I'm just thinking, is there a way that... Uh, wouldn't it be cool if we got a second one of these and you and I in our kids' show that we do together? Like, we made them change places. So you were holding a TikTok box and I was holding a watch and they changed places. How would we do that? I don't know. Let's think about it. You could turn the watch into the Tic Tacs. Yeah, you, you can I would hold it. You I would just it. need to turn the Tic Tacs into the watch. <laughs> How would I do that? <laughs> well, hang on a minute. It's like... like, it's like one of if I palm no, if I palm the watch right, and I I showed the tic tac box and held it and put a magnet in the tic tac box and then had a magnet in my back pocket, what I could do is I could show the tic tac box. You could show the watch. I could just do a false transfer, bring it up here as if it's the tic tac box, bring my hand down to the back of my trousers and and just dip the tic tac box. You snap and turn it into the. Uh, turn your watch into exactly tic tac the same and at the you same time i just open up my hand and i show it to the watch and then we've got a oh, killer cool. transposition yeah. that'd be a fun way of doing it. let's try that okay yeah. i'm gonna give it 82 percent what about you um oh yeah we have got a real box of tic tacs yeah, yeah yeah we have got we, some we stuff. can do that we just need the second watch yeah 82 percent what are you giving it um 82 82 you're not going to do it then are you yeah it's over 79 i'm gonna do oh. it oh oh Eighty-two. Get on with yeah. it. What are you doing? Eighty-two. Eighty-two as well. Eighty-two for me. Eighty-two from him. It's a cool trick. Uh, you just need to think about where you're going to do it, and uh, if you've got a place in your act that you think this could work, give it a go. And that's another review show in the bag. That's another review show in the bag. And that's another review show in the bag. Sorry. <laughs> I was, I was in a world of nothing. So that is another review show in the back. <laughs> that is another review show. I was actually thinking about what... It doesn't matter. Right, that is another review show Tell in the back. <laughs> yeah, I will. That is another review show in the back. Guys, thank you very much for joining us right here on Magic TV. <laughs> Thank you very much once again for joining us. I'm shut up. Thank you very much for joining us once again on Magic TV. If you haven't already done so, like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below, join the Netflix uh, if you haven't already done so by going to www.thenetrix.com. And if you haven't already followed this young man on Instagram, please do so. On Instagram, he's now on I think ten thousand followers, subscribers, something like that. Um, so follow him on Instagram yet. and I think YouTube. About 9, by the time this goes 9, out, it'll probably be 10,000. 9, okay. At the moment, I'm on like 8,900. I think you're on over 9,000 now. Okay. Yeah, you are. Okay. Okay. And I'll be back again uh, tomorrow with a whole bunch of videos. Thank you once again for joining us here on Magic TV. Let us know what you think in the comments down below, and we'll see you again soon. I'm Craig. I'm Ryan. We'll see you again. Take care. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.